Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games, and welcome back to 3D Games and Game Maker Studio 2. And I'm still playing with the, the weird eyeball thing, apparently. I need to find something else to stick my, my character. Um, this is something that is not overly complicated in the slightest, but it is something that I probably should have addressed earlier and just forgot about because there were more pressing matters at hand, such as shaders, because I love shaders. And that is drawing user interface on the screen. So, and I am going to unclose the game because I should probably leave that open. Um, right now, everything that is drawn in the game is being drawn on 3D space. There is nothing 2D happening. Uh, that includes user interface stuff, like your player's health, for example, is a, is a common thing to have. Or um, other 2D elements that you may see on the screen as user interface. And... I haven't talked about that yet, but the way that you would have that work is very simple. I'm going to go to the camera's draw event. I'm going to go to draw, instead of the regular draw event, which is, al which is already in use, draw GUI, or graphical user interface. Um, and I'm gonna start putting some code in here. By this point in time, the draw GUI event has been around for a while in Game Maker since Studio One. So most people are probably familiar with it, but just so that everybody's on the same page, uh, I'm going to draw some text. 32, 32, which is kind of my default text drawing position when I'm looking for an example. And... How do you spell Ezekiel? Oh god, I, I got halfway through that name and realized I didn't know how to spell it. Is it A-L or E-L? I think it's E-L. A-L looks wrong. Let me, um, it's E-L, okay. Intuition wins. So that is the first, and I'm sorry for anybody who's actually named Zeke, I just like spelling Ezekiel, um, or failing to spell it, as the case may be. There's text on the screen, excellent, that was easy. So the draw GUI event, uh, for those of you who don't know, is separate from the regular draw event. Um, this is also used in 2D, as you can imagine. Instead of either you're drawing a region inside the room wherever your camera's view is, as you would probably do in 2D, or instead of drawing with a 3D camera, as, you're, as you would do in 3D like I'm doing now, uh, Draw GUI will always draw on a canvas that is the size of the game window, and um, the 00, zero origin will always be in the, uh, in the top left of the screen. So you don't have to worry about adjusting anything uh, based on your character's position in the room, you don't have to worry about transforming anything if you're drawing things in 3D like I am. Um, it's it's very nice. It's one of those things that they added in Game Maker Studio 1, and I had suddenly had no idea how we survived before that. Hey. If you're curious how we did survive before that, if you would have um if you would have wanted to draw something on on the user interface in 3D in Game Maker 8, uh, you would have had to use an orthographic projection to sort of reset the camera, reset the 3D projection. It was a bit of extra work, but nothing actually too dramatic. Anyway, you can do whatever you want here. Um, I am going to use a nicer font. Let's see, let's, um, let me just add a font. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually be normal and call it FNT underscore game instead of something else. Arial is officially my least favorite font ever, ranking even below Comic Sans and Papyrus and similar handwriting fonts. Uh, I'm going to go with I unironically like Calibri. Um, let's make that bigger. Let's also make it bold to give it a little bit more weight. Uh, I unironically like Calibri, which is the default Microsoft Word font, at least currently. That's one of my weirder opinions about graphic design, but it's very clean. It doesn't look like uh, the texture page is having issues because I forgot to put the font on its own texture page. All right, you know what? Instead of putting the font on its own texture page, what I should do is put the grass on its own texture page. Texture pages are something that merits a, a video later, but I will leave that for later. Anyway, let's try that again. All right, so we have our, we have our uh, text being drawn on the screen. Uh, if you want, you can say, let's give the player a un mostly unused health value or something like that. Hey. I'm gonna say current HP is 10. Max HP is 10. We can draw some more text on the screen. Uh, 
And that's just going to draw like the health value. Okay. We're drawing our health. Um, if you wanted to, you can you can draw anything you want on the draw GUI layer. I'm going to go into this project over here and find something along the lines of a heart-shaped sprite. SPO heart, that'll do. Let us edit the image. I'm just going to copy it in. That looks intimidating. There we go. We now have a um, we now have a, a sprite that's shaped like a heart. That's fine. Uh, and as I was saying before, I did that. If you want to, you can um, you can draw a sprite on the screen. So what would it be? 64. Oh no, wait. The sprite and index come first. Something like that. And that's just gonna draw a little heart on the screen next to the uh, the player health meter. All right, that's a little small. We can we can scale it. Uh, we'll give it a scale of two. No rotation. No blending, and um, fully opaque. All right, that's nice. So we've got a we've got a little uh, graphical user interface, or at least a HUD. People often use GUI and HUD interchangeably. Usually, HUD refers to like head-up display. HUD refers to more gamey elements, like uh, the player name or health, or something like the um, the ammo count in a first-person shooter game or something like that. While a graphical user interface is a more general term that can reply to pretty much anything that isn't a command line tool, like this this here, this entire thing here is a graphical user interface, while um, a HUD is, is probably something that's more gamey. Not a hugely important detail, but that's how it goes sometimes. Anyway, I don't think I need to go any farther on this. I think I've, uh, I think I've demonstrated the point. This isn't something that anybody's actually asked me about in a long time, so I think the draw GUI event is something that's pretty well understood by this point. But just to make sure that everybody's aware, if you want to draw a uh, user interface element on the screen, you would do it in the draw GUI event. If you really want, you can do a bunch of matrix transforms to draw things in space in 3D and put them exactly in the correct place on the camera. But I'm pretty sure nobody actually wants to work out those matrix calculations or anything like that, so here you go. Orthographic cameras, by the way, that I mentioned earlier, do still have their uses that I'll probably talk about in the future because they can be quite interesting. Anyway, that's it. The, uh, the code for this is in the video description on GitHub. Uh, I have a Patreon, so if you want to um, contribute towards these being made, the link to that is in all the places you probably come to expect. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. I try to post two-ish game maker videos a week. Uh, one tutorial, one let's make a tower defense game. Since this is a shorter and not very profound video, I'm probably going to post another one today also. Uh, something a little more involved. Anyway, I hope you found that useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Edward Hull, Indie Punch, and Zenith for supporting these videos. If you want your name in the credits and to force me to pronounce them out loud at the end of every video, head over to the Patreon page in the video description and join the fun.